Hello, everyone. Welcome to the info session about my 2024 group programs. I'm George Cow, and I want to first set the context for how I feel about this info session. Um, I used to, when I started my business in 2009, I uh, got started doing sales webinars right away. Um, I was kind of an early pioneer in creating a really effective sales webinar to, for coaching programs, group programs, you know, um, enrolling people into membership programs and whatnot. In fact, I did, I did it so well that in 2010, my clients started to ask me to teach them how I was doing it. Because I was, uh, I remember one of my webinars, early days, you know, one of them, an hour long webinar, I sold $73,000 of coaching programs, my own coaching program, 73,000, not a bad hour, 73,000 per hour. Um, and, and my, my other webinars usually sold 20, 30,000, 10, 10 to 30,000 was pretty typical for me. So I'm good at doing sales webinars. And what happened was, however, in 20, 2000, uh, starting 2012, something started to shift. I started uh, over a two year period. I kind of had this spiritual breakdown and eventually breakthrough. It started with a crisis of conscience about what am I doing with my business, with my life? I don't like, I don't see how the way I'm doing my business is, is aligned with my true deeper values and purpose in life and the mission that I, I'm here to, to serve the world with. So I had, that's why I have this kind of breakdown of, of, of crisis of conscience. And like, I don't like how I'm, I don't like how I'm doing my business. And I, I learned all of it from other people, most of it anyway. Some of it was intuitive, but I learned much of it from the mainstream internet marketers. And I know how to grow a business in the mainstream ways, particularly using digital marketing webinars and, and all that stuff, particularly for coaching, consulting, mentoring, healing, facilitation. Um, and those were all my, all my clients in the early days anyway, starting 2009. So my breakdown was, I don't want to do it like this anymore. I want to actually feel like every day could be my last day as a true for all of us. And if it were my last day, I wanted to have spent it in such a feeling of alignment and passion with my purpose in life and my values of service and generosity and bringing joy into every moment that without attachment to money or enrollment or sales or results, uh, may I spend every day like that. And may I see business as really a project of personal growth. Business is not, I'm going to make money so that on the weekends and on vacation, I can live my true life. No, come on. My waking hours for most of my life is not weekends and vacations. My waking hours most of my life oftentimes is typing something on the keyboard or making a presentation or usually not making a presentation because this is this is actually much easier for me to live into my purpose and my values of you know talking about that stuff. But typing on the keyboard when I'm trying to solve a particular tech problem or or trying to answer a question from a client or trying to plan that itself needs to be joyful productivity. And that itself it's really a stage. You peek behind the curtain. Oh, there's soul growth right there. It's not just getting this done so that I can be soul growth in my sessions like this. Every moment I want it to be, a, to be worthy of the soul. And that's why I, I basically, those couple of years, I'm, I was like thrashing about like trying to figure out how do I do this? And finally, I dedicated myself to authentic business. 2015 was really the the, the 2014 started, but 2015, like gung-ho, birth of authentic business. Ever since then, I said, I'm only going to do marketing if marketing is ministry. If marketing is an expression of my, my practice of personal growth, that's the only reason why I would do marketing. Not to make sales, not to uh, get more followers, not to get more engagement. That stuff is not worthy for the soul. For my soul, it does. It didn't feel worthy for my time. So ever since then, I've been talking about this stuff and I've been practicing it myself, trying my best and figuring out what is that intersection of 
true exploration of what's deep and, and meaningful for me on the one hand, and what is a true service to humanity on the other hand, such that if this was my last day, it was worth it. And that intersection of exploration, inner exploration and outer service, that, inner, that intersection, that Venn diagram intersection, that is authentic business. And I think that's probably why you're here as well. Um, so I was saying my, uh, my feeling about this info session, right? This was billed, this was promoted as come to this session to learn about my group programs. Essentially, this is a sales webinar. I don't know if you realize that's what you signed up for, right? But like I said, I can see the old George Cow from 2009 to 2014. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. How can I bring, make this hour as worthwhile for our souls as possible? Whether or not a single person decides to join my program, because this may be my last day. So what do I need? What do I need to? Why do I need to pay the next month's rent for? Right? No, really. But honestly, it's like that. This made this experience itself be one of growth and enjoyment for all of us. That's how I'm framing this session. So I hope this is helpful. And also, by the way, because I think I still have the. Uh, the good salesmanship from the earlier days um, somewhere in there, but hopefully having been washed at the, at with, with the, with the blood of authentic marketing, right? Sorry, weird analogy, but it's like, yes, yeah, so there was a lot of bloodshed along the way of like, Oh my God, I can't, I can't do that anymore. Um, so hopefully those of you who are watching this, a lot of you are hoping to enroll clients into your, group programs or your one-to-one -one programs or, or your events. And you can learn from this info session yourself to send me, let me take some notes on how, how George is doing this. And let me see if I can do it my own style because authenticity is one of the core values that drive, that drive us, all of us here. And so it's not about uh, whenever clients say, George, can you give me uh, a script for how I can sell, how I can uh, write my sales page or do a webinar? I'm like, that completely defeats the purpose. I'm, I'm even questioning whether to give you a formula or a format for how you should run this or you should do a sales page. You, you know, when you take my courses, people ask me about a script or a formula. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. There, the formula itself works for me or works for some people, but having a formula itself is already defeating your own authentic expression. So anyway, starting from there, um, I want to, uh, I'm going to see how this works. All right. So, so hopefully this will work okay for the replay as well. But I want to invite five of you who are live here to share a few words. Try to limit it to, okay, up to five words. Okay. One to five words that feel ex authentically expressive to you about the mission or values or deeper purpose of your business? What, why are you doing the work that you want to be doing or are doing? So I'm going to pause the recording and see which of the five want to share, and then I'll, I'll bring them on here. I want to appreciate the five of you who bravely raised your hands on the spot without any preparation. And I want to also honor your uh, willingness to experiment because that really is what authentic business is about. So again, without any expectation of what is the right answer, and I'm sure you're going to think of something even better later, uh, I welcome you now to share one to five words that express for you at this moment uh, the, the deeper purpose, passion, mission behind your business. Margie, thank you for going first. Okay. Um, what I wrote down is learn to trust yourself. Mm. Yes. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. All of us can relate to that for sure. All right. Um, Amaran Nato, uh, you'll pronounce uh, your name for us and then you'll share your words. <laughs> I will do. Amaranato, Ryan Jude, have a Um uh, So I would say uh, playful monk, uh, explore, play, love. Oh. Lovely. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just go and I'll order alphabetically by first name at this point. Angela, would you be willing to share? And George um, and everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, it's um, resilience for women and their families. I mm, love it. 
Thank you, thank you. And uh, let's see here. Next up is Dylan. Please go ahead. So I have four words: um, through time into healing. Oh yes, I love that. Thank you for that. And Matty, you get to take us home. Yeah. So being grounded in loving presence. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love all of these. I'm not sure I can come up with, <laughs> with with better ones than what you all have. So I really thank you. Thank you for being willing to share. And uh, that sets the tone for what brings us together. So thank you. And of course, all of you who are watching this and all of you who are here live, I welcome you to comment below, chat below, if you wish to, what your five words might be at this time, are at this time. So I, I look forward to seeing that as well. All right, so with that kind of feel and presence of one another here, I wanna start moving into talking about the group program. And uh, you know that's why we signed up for this. So the group program, to me, the most valuable part of it is the community which is why I started with giving some, some examples of the, of the feel and the presence that we have here in my groups. Uh, people say time and again that I tend to draw the most amazing people. And I think uh, those of you who haven't yet seen my video about energy signature, you might go to YouTube and search energy signature. You might have to put George Cow and watch my video about what energy signature is. I'll, I'll just briefly explain. Your energy signature is, I, I'm not the first person who's come up with a term, I'm, I'm very sure. I don't know where I heard it, honestly, probably from several different sources. But the way I define it is, it's essentially your soul's expression through your body in this life is your energy signature. Um, so it comes out from every pore of your body, essentially. Uh, everything from literally how your face looks uh, to your name, to how you talk, to how you move your hands, to how you frame your ideas, to how sometimes you have, you know, grammatical errors, errors, <laughs> or your style, you know, uh, to your, the colors you end up choosing for your website, or for any social media posts, uh, to um, the way you interact with your audience and with your with your clients, um, all of the above and even more is your energy signature. And the more you you create content, particularly, and create offers, the more you're practicing, experimenting, hopefully, with your energy signature. If you're not following a formula too much, but you're allowing yourself to say, all right, this is this is true for my heart of service and my uh, passion to express what is true for me at this time that I believe is worthwhile to express, that is real for me, um, that I want to connect deeply with the, my audience or with my clients. When, it's, when your expression comes out of that yearning um, or when you are really comfortable with your clients, you're feeling grounded, well-fed, not hungry, uh, angry, or tired, or um, or lonely, or <laughs> halter. Right? Uh, when you're when you're feeling well, and you're feeling grounded and confident with your clients, or with your members, or with your students, or with your audience, and you share from the heart and from the soul, your energy signature is strong. And that's basically what I've been practicing since 2015, 2014. And so I think since then, it seems to me probably my energy signature has become strong through my content and um, offerings and things. And that's why I think I tend to draw a particular type of person into my group. You know, and and plus there's a <laughs> there's a 45 minute application process that helps too, right? <laughs> to really vet and filter out. So, but but the community, that's why I think you're going to find those of you who join the program will find it to be utterly valuable, um, first and foremost for the community. And the community, what I mean by that is um, through the calls, you meet each other. Uh, every time I, I host um, 
two to three Q&A calls just for my members per week. Yeah, let me say that again. Every week, two to three. I say two to three because there's one at uh, there's two of them at a time zone that's friendly for Europeans. So um, uh, North America daytime, European afternoon uh, ish, and then that's two calls a week, uh, steady. And then there's one more call every other week that's for uh, Australia friendly time zone. So that's North America afternoons and uh, Australia Asia mornings. That's less attended. That's why it's only once once every other week, much less attended. Uh, but essentially, every Q&A call you come to, whenever you ask a question, I always invite you to practice sharing your energy signature again. So like people in my programs, they get to practice for dozens of times. So they come to the calls, whenever they come to the calls, they ask a question before I say, hey, before your question, practice your introduction. It's not about communicating information. It's about practicing, spending a moment and then expressing your energy signature, whether that's just a few words or whether you literally want to say, well, I am so-and-so and this is what I do. That's fine too. So anyway, the community is experienced through the calls and for the 2024 format of my program through one-to-one -one pairings between members. What I have uh, as part of the new program format that wasn't part of this year's format and by the way, I've been running group programs since 2015 when I restarted my business. So I've run you know, a yearly group program since then. So whatever number of iterations. Okay, so I think the 2024 is the best, best format yet, giving all, giving all the lessons. So the one-on-one -one pairing goes like this. I am paying a small stipend to who, whichever members are willing to be a supportive accountability buddy for another member in the program. And so the person who's paid a small stipend uh, is paired up with somebody else and they get to meet once a month for half an hour. So it's very low. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of time, but it's powerful time. It's half hour of focus where the accountability, the helper, the helper is going to be asking the member a couple of questions. Taking, a, it's kind of like guiding out of the member what is your most important priorities for the next month of your business? What, what's working, all right? Let's review that. What's working well? And what's your priorities for the next month? And how will you go about accomplishing those priorities, embodying those priorities? And that kind of monthly focus is very powerful. Most of us don't have that benefit. And so doing it, out, especially in the context of authentic business, I think is very powerful and uh, looking forward to that kind of, and of, of course we have many other, uh, uh, we have another set of meetings in our, uh, on a monthly rhythm called class implementation sessions. And this is where again, paid helpers will facilitate. And when I say paid helpers, by the way, these are all members in the program. So if you are interested in, in, in being an accountability buddy for someone else or hosting a class implementation session, you can get paid for doing that. That, that basically offsets your cost uh, of being a member. So, um, and, and and some people won't need that. Some people say, you know, the financials are not a problem for me and, and I don't need one of the paid spots. And so, and so some of that's freed up for other members who need an additional paid spot to further offset their membership. So for those who, you know, there's different situations. Class implementation sessions, I'm excited. Again, this is new for 2024, okay? Is where one of the members that are paid to facilitate an hour of partly discussion around a, a topic that's that's that everyone signed up for. So for example, uh, let me go ahead and show you at this time actually what kinds of topics we cover in uh, in my courses. Okay? So I'm going to I'm going to post two links below this video. And for those of you live here as well, and um, oh, okay, sorry. Let me let me try that one more time. Sorry for those who are live. I want to make sure it's clickable for you. And th those of you watching this later, you can see the links below. Okay, so my course catalog is my existing courses, and then my um, my lineup of twenty twenty four course topics is also quite exciting. I'm going to go and share this with you real quick on the screen here. Okay, so my course catalog includes 
uh, business planning, um, uh, intention setting. These two are given to the 2024 members without any additional charge. We also go through these two uh, week by week in, in, the, in the beginning of the Q&A calls. I'll just spend 10 minutes to go through one important aspect of this course or that course, or there's there's three other ones that I'll show you. But, you know, we we talk, um, you, you have access, you, well, in the core, in the program, depending on which tier level you choose, you get course credits to buy at lifetime access any of these courses. And if you do the ABC format, you get basically four during the year that you can buy for lifetime access, uh, meaning even after the program ends, you still get continued access to them. Or if you do the master heart, you, you get, I think it's eight or something like that, eight of them, which is you know definitely enough. Uh, market research, I talk a lot about that. What do you do? You, you ever get asked that question <laughs> and go, uh, okay, how do I describe what I do? And how do you describe what you do in terms of your about page? So, you know, on your website, but also in terms of on a group call, how do you talk about what you do on a podcast introduction or uh, at the end of an article, if you want to do your short bio. So that, that, that course goes through all these different formats. How do you get clients? So my full course, comprehensive course about um, filling your client roster, different outreach methods. Okay, Joyful Productivity is another one you get as a foundational course. You don't have to buy it with course credit. You just get it as one of the members of the, of the 2024 program. Super important uh, because I find that one of the key uh, difficulties of solopreneurs is how to manage their time and energy well and how to prioritize. So the Joyful Productivity program, we will be going through uh, the important parts of it uh, week by week in our member, uh, our member calls as well. The healthy money habits. Uh, that's another course I do. Anyway, I'm just going to slowly scroll through so you can see the kinds of topics you can bring to my Q and A calls. And let me let me explain. You don't have to have taken any of these courses. Oh, net caring is another another one that you get as one of the foundation ones. You don't have to buy using credits. Highly important. How do you basically uh, relate um, gracefully? collaboratively with others who could be who could be your joint venture partners or your mutual support buddies or things like that. Um, net caring is my version of networking, uh, et cetera. Anyway, I'm going to slowly scroll. Any of these topics you are welcome to bring to my Q&A calls, even if you have not taken the course or enrolled in it. Let me say that again. On my member-only Q&A calls, you can just come up to me and say, George, I have not bought your or signed up for your launch your heart center group program, uh, can you explain to me the next step I need to take in that model, in that strategy? So that's one of the benefits is you don't have to you don't have to take any of my courses. Come to the member Q and A's and tell and tell me your current situation and what is the next step you need to do to make your offer sell like hotcakes, for example, or what's the next step you need to do to advertise on LinkedIn because you're not going to take the course. You don't have time to watch the course. You just Ask me, and given your situation, I will tell you what I believe is the next best step. So all of these are topics you can ask me about because I've literally done these all myself, usually for years, and taught these. Most of these courses I've taught several times over the years, so I'm 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 pretty good at them. So so that's just the courses I've already recorded. Now let's look at the courses that I am planning to teach and record in 2024. Okay, so let me show you the lineup of the 2024 courses here. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I'm, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, the 2024 topics. Your energy signature. So I'm finally, after years of talking about this, I'm finally going to teach a structured way of working through and figuring this out and getting more strong about that. Content flow. I've already recorded this. So I'm basically relaunching my content flow course. Um, which is my flagship course on how to create content and how to track and know what's working and all that. This is a new one. Your amazing ideas is I have, I, I, I kind of, um, over the years, I've stumbled upon several ways to create ideas. I mean, basically, I, you are here because you probably saw some piece of content that made an impact on you from me, right? I basically have a way to create those kinds of quote unquote amazing ideas or ideas that make people pay attention and go, oh my gosh, what, wow, that really changed my mind on that, okay? So 
we're going to go through uh, several of these awesome methods, practice them actually in the class. So you can actually do them after the class and do it on, on a consistent basis. Um, list building, email marketing, people have been asking me for years to please teach a class on that. I have not never done that. And now I'm finally going to speaking powerfully. That's another reason why some of you are here. You watch my videos and you're like, how George is so, you know, I don't know. Maybe you don't think that whatever, but I have, I have settled into a way to really be powerful on camera, I think, <laughs> or more, more so than most speakers, I would say. And I can't wait to actually lead a, a group program, a short course on, you know, helping people come out of their shell, basically, and, and find it. It doesn't have to be like me, right? It's everyone speaks differently. And that's important. Ethical persuasion is another one that I'm really looking forward to. Essentially, I know how to persuade. But a lot of the persuasion classes are taught in ways that, and even the books, and it just taught in ways that don't, don't align with me. Like, it's about how to get people to do stuff. Like, no, 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 no. What if we could use the persuasion techniques in service of humanity, not to get people to sign up for your programs or to get them to engage? Obviously, that's going to come naturally. But it's really to get people to not, okay, another important thing that I want to say about this, ethical persuasion is not about, I think I know what's best for you. You don't understand that. You don't care. You don't know it. I'm going to make you do what I think is best for you. That's not ethical persuasion. That's mainstream persuasion. That's, it doesn't feel right to me. If you were doing that on me, I'd be like, get out of town. I don't want you to doing that on me. What the, f right? It's not, how, it's, not, it's not how friends treat each other. Okay. Ethical persuasion is, I know certain things about human psychology and I'm going to make things easier for you to consume, easier for you to engage with so that it's less of a burden for you. That's the idea. It's in service to humanity, in service to the other. Okay, Whether they want to engage is, is their, own, their own decision, right? Um, Instagram marketing, I'm, I'm going to finally redo that course. A lot of people request that. I've taught it several times. Anyway, I'm going to redo it again in 25 SEO, same thing. I've taught it several times. I'm going to redo it, especially now with AI tools. It's, it's totally different. Um, leading group programs. How do I facilitate my group program in a way that keeps people engaged throughout the year? So I'm going to, I need to learn more about that myself, but I'm going to, the best way of, of learning something is to teach it. I think I know something about it, but I'm going to uh, learn it more and, and teach it in a structured way. YouTube video mastery. Again, very much a student myself, but I have some thoughts and I'm going to have some strategies for us to learn together and to make better videos. Market research, I've taught this several times. I'm going to redo it and combine several courses together. Anyway, so that's what I'm up to for 24. Um, I'm going to I'm going to pause right now and I'm going to answer some questions. And then uh, those of you who are live here will get to connect with each other uh, in breakouts uh, if you would like to. But um, I want to just pause right now, having shared a bit about what of what the program is about. Um, there's a lot more to it, but I want to answer questions first. So let me pause the recording for a moment. All right. So those of you who are watching the replay later, um, the live folks uh, got access to a private document um, about the program. And you can also request access to it by requesting an application to the program. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. If you go to my uh, program public page, which I'll show you. This is the public page. And if you scroll down, okay, um, click on request an application. Now, let me clarify. This is not the actual application. <laughs> Some people fill this out and go, hey, George, I already applied. No, no, you didn't apply. You requested an application. My application process is more in depth than most membership programs, which is why I think the community is probably uh, uniquely vetted compared to most programs. So click on this. Fill out this form to request an application, and then I will send you the um, private document. And I just want to give you a quick sense of what the private document looks like. Um, so the private document has more of the details of what the program includes and, um, and the, the ability to also uh, select a particular uh, word, phrase, whatever, and add a, um, add a question or comment. So kind of like a bit of Q&A ability here. Um, so anyway, there's a lot more in this document and there's also information about the paid helper spots, which let me just say one, one quick thing, every member who wants one, I've already slotted a budgeted out 
a paid helper slot for everyone who wants one. And some people will get more than one actually. So, um, so just so you know, that's, that's available. And the, I think the pricing of the program is quite reasonable compared to what people are getting, what, what you're getting in the program. Um, I've seen prices based on what I've given you in the program. I've seen prices up to a thousand dollars a month, you know, $500 a month is not unusual for a program like this. So I think the, the prices are pretty good. Um, and the paid helper spots help you to offset some of that price as well. Um, I think one of the key aspects besides the community and besides the courses is the momentum that you get to develop throughout the, throughout the year. You might have noticed that it's really hard to be a solopreneur. Most of us are working too much on our own. And being in a community is wonderful because you get to see the momentum of others and kind of take part in this collective energy flow. However, what I've noticed in uh, membership communities like mine, including what I've done, what I've facilitated in past years, including this year, there tends to be, it's easy to get overwhelmed. It's easy to get overwhelmed with, oh my gosh, so many courses I could take. That's one. But secondly, oh my gosh, so many people I could meet. So I designed the 2024 program to ease the overwhelm and to help you build and maintain momentum. A couple of ways I, I've already mentioned. One is that you get the one-to-one -one, um, you know, accountability call every month. And that call helps you to refocus again on your priorities. By the way, I know some of you, this is not the, your business is not the only thing you're doing during your waking hours. Some of you might even have a job or full or part-time job. Some of you are caretaking for other people, but it's, you have many things going on in your life. So having like a focus, at least half hour focus time to talk about your priorities and plan ahead is really helpful with somebody else facilitating that. Um, on the Q&A calls, when you come to the Q&A calls every, every week, you know, whether you do one once a week or twice a week or, or once a month, whatever, you're going to come into a container where you're going to build or maintain momentum with a, part, with a foundational skill. Because every Q&A call, I draw out, again, one important piece from one of my five foundational courses, and we do an exercise together. So it's kind of like you're touching in again, whether you come once a month or once a week or twice a week or whatever, you're touching in again on a foundational piece of, oh, that's right. That aspect of joyful productivity, I am going to lean into again, or that aspect of my business plan, I'm going to lean into it again or, or whatever it may be. Um, so it helps you to ease the overwhelm by saying, let's focus on one piece like one piece on, on each call, okay? And the other thing is when you come to the Q&A calls, you can ask me, all right, George, besides that one piece, here's my situation. What do you see as a probable, reasonable next step for me to take? And I love those kinds of questions. You could come to me and say, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched a single minute of any of your courses or videos. I haven't read a single word from you. Probably not true, but anyway, what is my next step based on what I've just told you for you know uh, one minute? You know, I'm gonna make you make you give me your context in a very short time. I'll give you my next step. Um, and then we also have net caring calls that I facilitate once a month. Um, yeah, this is this is good. The net caring calls, I facilitate them and I basically do it for uh, one call per month on each time zone, on each of the major two time zones. And when you come to the calls, you will get be placed into a breakouts with two other people, two other members, and you'll have plenty of time to share from your passion and your current inquiry and also hear from theirs and get their feedback. So you get to meet a couple of members in a focused way every month. You could do this, by the way. A lot of people do this because the net caring course, the net caring course is one of the five foundational ones you get access to right away. A lot of people already do private net caring with other members and that you'll pe you have people reaching out to you, you'll reach out to anyone. So that's already happening. But then I have a facilitated way to also get to also do this. Um, one more thing that I should mention is that um, uh, it slipped on mine for a second. Oh yeah, the, the work retreats. I started doing them this year and they've been fantastic. So every month 
you get at least one work retreat at the European time zone and one at the Australian time zone. So basically morning and evening for North America. And the work retreat is where it's at least two hours long. The 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 North Amer the uh, the European friendly time zone is actually eight hour work retreat. I facilitate them. And what do you do during those either two hours or eight hours is you we work together. So we start out with intention setting and then you know getting clear about what we're doing during the retreat, what each of us is doing. Like I ask you to bring to the retreat a project or task that you've been putting off that you believe will be helpful for your for your growth, for your business growth. So you bring that project and people are amazed at what, what gets done in the work, work retreats. We do uh, we do Pomodoro style, so 25 minute silence with with a five minute break, and then we do celebration throughout the throughout the day throughout the uh, work retreat. And I'm also available for Q and A during the work retreat as well. So if you have quick questions, hey George, I'm trying to figure out my next step on this. What do you think? Should I do this or that? And then I'll give my opinion in, in inside the chat. It's all private chat with me. So uh, anyway, so there's different ways to kind of ease the overwhelm next year that wasn't available this year or in previous years that I think will be really helpful. Um, the class imp implementation, I didn't even finish describing that, is where you get this, you get two sessions per month on whatever topic you're trying to implement. So it's like, oh, I'm trying to do the Facebook ads course. It's overwhelming. There's definitely going to be one or two different class, Im class implementation pods on Facebook, Instagram ads, for example, or I'm trying to launch my group program, or I'm trying to launch my first online course, or I'm trying to uh, use LinkedIn much more effectively, or I'm trying to launch a podcast, or I'm trying to master YouTube, or I'm trying to do more net caring on a regular basis. Whatever it is you're trying to do, I'm trying to create content consistently. There will be a class implementation pod where you meet with them twice a month to focus just on that topic. You have a little bit of discussion in the beginning, and then you do co-working during the hour as well, where you're like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply one thing from the class so that I can kind of focus and lean in on this topic um, several times a month and probably hopefully throughout the month as well. So anyway, I'm going to pause again, see if there are any questions, and then we'll go into breakout groups. Okay, an important question here. You'll notice when you apply for the program, that I ask you for a commitment of 10 hours per week of dedication to your business. If you cannot dedicate 10 hours per week to your own business, except during breaks, I may have mentioned, I take one week off every, every month. I do. So it's 10 hours a week during the three weeks of the month, right? Dedicate to your business, not to my program. I want to clarify. Some people read that and go, wait, 10 hours to attend all the calls and to watch all the videos. And no, no, no. I hope you don't take 10 hours in my program a week. That's too much learning and connection time, in my opinion. Maybe you'll spend hmm, one to three hours per week on my program, which means I, I don't, I hope you don't come to all the calls actually, right? Because then you're taking too much time and learning and not, not enough time implementing. So maybe one to three hours a week with the program, if even that, some of you decide to come to two calls a month and that's that's only two two hours a month or whatever plus the half hour call with your accountability buddy okay it's fine but okay maybe a little bit of time and then the rest of the time is spent doing let me go ahead and, and uh, share that part of the document with you here okay the rest of you know, the 10 hours is spent doing these you're setting up or optimizing your business systems which of course you're going to talk to me about that uh, on our q and a's so what part of your business systems might need optimization and things like that Creating content, distributing content, net caring, market research, gentle launches of your offerings, getting feedback to improve your offerings, working basically working on your business. Now, you don't have to do all of these things every week, obviously. Obviously, not everything it gets to be done every week, but part of your 10 hours is spent doing some of these things. I definitely spent 10. I went back and calculated again my calendar. I look at my, it's like, oh, yeah, that's 10 hours a week at least doing one or more of these things myself. Despite having a busy schedule of hosting calls, group calls, and all that stuff, I said, so I really, if you're not going to spend 10 hours a week working on your business, doing, like I said, the things that I just listed, I honestly don't have faith. Sorry, uh, if, if you want to see that again. I honestly don't have faith 
that your business is going to be viable. Sorry, let me say this again. Full-time income. Okay. Some of you don't care about full-time income. Some of you are like, oh, I'd be happy earning 500 bucks a month. No, no, no. If you want to earn at least $3,000 a month, if not 10 to 20,000 per month or more, 10 hours a week doing these things is like very reasonable. Now you don't have to do 20 hours a week, but I think 10 hours is very reasonable to ask a full-time or aspiring full-time business owner to be working on their business. Now, when I say on, not in, what I mean is the 10 hours a week does not include meeting with your clients. Client meetings and client preparation and teaching courses and preparing your courses is not part of my 10 hours a week. That's working in the business. That's not taking a step back and working on the business. I mean, it's even arguable whether creating content is, is part of the 10 hours, but I'm, I'm being generous and putting that in here, okay? Not 10 hours a week. You're, you're not going to build a viable... I'm, honestly, I've been doing this since 2009. I look at a lot of my clients, I'm like, no wonder you don't have a viable business. You, don't, you spend two hours a week on this? How is it? It's not even humanly possible. It's not. I mean, I, 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 I've said this to my clients. I, I mean, and I really mean this. Whenever you come to my classes and I give you a timer to work on a particular task, I am always surprised what you're able to accomplish in like five minute timer, 10 minute timer, even the three minute timer. I'm like, that's, that's brilliant. I couldn't do that in three minutes. You did that in three minutes. So I, I often say to my clients, and I, I do mean this, I think my clients are smarter than me. I mean, to be honest, I'm not going to say all of them. I mean, I, everyone's different, right? I'm like, what, what I experience from my clients is like, you all are smarter than me. Like, I'm not that smart. I just tend to work more. And I know some of you can't work more because you're caretaking, you're a full-time job or both or whatever. But, but even so, if you're really saying, I want this to be my full-time gig, income-wise at least, 10 hours is reasonable to dedicate. If it's not 10 hours, it's close to that. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. Um, and uh, is there anything to help with working with part-time helpers? Um, so yeah, when you look in the document, uh, when you request the application and get the document, you'll see what the what the paid helper roles are, and then you could uh, you could see which one you want to apply for, and and uh, so there. Um, okay, Mernas, thank you for asking. What is Soul Gym? Because Soul Gym is included with um, the master heart tier and the one-on-one -on -one tier. And for ABC members, you can buy soul gym for much cheaper than you could outside of the program. Okay. Soul gym is, is my program to help you get consistent with content creation. So if that's been like, Oh my God, I wish I could be consistent with creating content except during my breaks. <laughs> okay. Except during content sabbaticals, which George takes once, once a month, once one week a month, but I want to be consistent the rest of the month. Soul Gym is designed for that. It gives you my content flow course, uh, which is my content creation course, plus like a regular rhythm of, um, you know, uh, calls to, to get you to create basically. So that, that's what that is. Um, so how will the pods be determined? Yeah, good question, Donna. I'm going to set them up uh, you know, based on my understanding. Well, the, the, there's two types of pods. There's the you know, accountability buddy and account and member that I'm going to set up based on your applications and what I think might work well. And you can always sw swap if you want to the class pods, the ones that are focused on, I'm going to focus on Facebook ads or I'm going to focus on content creation. I'm going to focus on, you know, launching a program or whatever. Those pods are determined based on topics. Like everyone interested in launching a group program is going to go to that pod. So that, that I hope that makes sense. Okay. I am going to, um, Oh, okay. Mernaz, thank you for asking. Which individuals should be part of ABC and which individuals should be part of MasterHeart? I have these two tiers. You'll see that in the document, the details. Basically, it's, an, it's a level of intensity that you're looking for. Um, if you want more intensity, like I want to really dive in in a whole year, I want to like go in, go all in, then MasterHeart is obviously the, the right option. If you want to take it more lightly, ABC is a great option because you're like, okay, I think just a few courses enough. Um, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to attend as many calls as I can, but, you know, a few courses is enough. And also Master Heart members get kind of priority questions. So whenever there's a bunch of questions, I'm going to prioritize the Master Heart questions first. And then we get to the ABC questions. So that's, and a difference to price, obviously. So um, that also makes a difference for some people, of course, definitely. 
Um, at this point, I want to say that the ABC, so, so last thing I'll say, and then we'll do breakouts so you can, you can meet somebody else. Um, as of this recording, I'm grateful to say that 80% of the spots have already been filled for the program. Um, there are a lot more ABC spots left. Master Heart spots, there are like, I mean, I'm really happy with how many Master Heart spots are already filled. If there's like two more, three more, I'm, I'm probably fine with that. But chances are the ABC slots, there are a lot more of that. So uh, if you want to apply, you can do that. But again, there's only 20% spots left as of this recording. So I usually, I, I just want to give a, give the realistic expectation. I've been tracking the applications and enrollment for years now, okay? And just even based on last year, I'm grateful to say we're already ahead in terms of numbers of people who have applied. So I'm slightly ahead right now. Uh, I'm recording this on November 21st. Usually by somehow by December or even January, people wake up and go, hey, I wanna to apply to your program. I'm like, sorry, there's a waiting list now. So I'm just being honest whenever, I'm, I usually am nervous. I'm like, oh my God, remember if the whole program's not filled yet? But then I look at my numbers and go, oh, that's right, of course. By end of November, usually about 80% filled by end of November. By end of December, 100% filled. January is people who will want to join in January. They're already part of the waiting list. So that's what's been happening in previous years, just so you know. All right, that's all for now. I'm going to end this replay. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has been interesting for, uh, for, for you to watch and to help, you know, not only about my program, but about how you might do these kinds of info sessions. And uh, thank you for watching this. And for those who are live, we're going to get a chance to do a breakouts. Uh, but thank you all for watching. And any questions about the program, you can go ahead and comment below.